even being aware of all my limitations, it was pure magic. USA just released fully functioning female robots. America remains to be one of the most rapidly advancing countries in the field of robotics and AI. Let's take a look at the latest happenings in the American technological sphere. Robot overcomes uncertainty. For humans, finding a lost wallet buried under a pile of items is pretty straightforward. We simply remove things from the pile until we find the wallet. But for a robot, this task involves complex reasoning about the pile and objects in it, which presents a steep challenge. MIT researchers previously demonstrated a robotic arm that combines visual information and radio frequency signals to find hidden objects that were tagged with RFID tags, which reflect signals sent by an antenna. Building off that work, they have now developed a new system that can efficiently retrieve any object buried in a pile. As long as some items in the pile have RFID tags, the target item does not need to be tagged for the system to recover it. The algorithms behind the system, known as FuseBot, reason about the probable location and orientation of objects under the pile. Then, FuseBot finds the most efficient way to remove obstructing objects and extract the target item. This reasoning enabled FuseBot to find more hidden items than a state-of-the-art robotic system in half the time. This speed could be especially useful in an e-commerce warehouse. A robot tasked with processing returns could find items in an unsorted pile more efficiently with the FuseBot system, says senior author Fadel Adib, associate professor in the Department of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science and director of the Signal Kinetics Group in the Media Lab. The Brain's Secret, now hardware for AI. When the human brain learns something new, it adapts. But when artificial intelligence learns something new, it tends to forget information it already learned. As companies use more and more data to improve how AI recognizes images, learns languages, and carries out other complex tasks, a paper publishing in Science shows a way that computer chips could dynamically rewire themselves to take in new data like the brain does, helping AI to keep learning over time. The brains of living beings can continuously learn throughout their lifespan. We have now created an artificial platform for machines to learn throughout their lifespan," said Sriram Ramanathan, a professor in Purdue University's School of Materials Engineering who specializes in discovering how materials could mimic the brain to improve computing. Unlike the brain, which constantly forms new connections between neurons to enable learning, the circuits on a computer chip don't change. A circuit that a machine has been using for years isn't any different than the circuit that was originally built for the machine in a factory. This is a problem for making AI more portable, such as for autonomous vehicles or robots in space that would have to make decisions on their own in isolated environments. If AI could be embedded directly into hardware rather than just running on software as AI typically does, these machines would be able to operate more efficiently. In this study, Ramanathan and his team built a new piece of hardware that can be reprogrammed on demand through electrical pulses. Ramanathan believes that this adaptability would allow the device to take on all of the functions that are necessary to build a brain-inspired computer. Novel wearable armband helps prosthetic users. Typing on a keyboard, pressing buttons on a remote control, or braiding a child's hair has remained elusive for prosthetic hand users. With current myoelectric prosthetic hands, users can only control one grasp function at a time, even though modern artificial hands are mechanically capable of individual control of all five digits. A first-of-its-kind study using haptic and touch sensation feedback, electromyogram control, and an innovative wearable soft robotic armband could just be a game-changer for users of prosthetic hands who have long-awaited advances in dexterity. Findings from the study could catalyze a paradigm shift in the way current and future artificial hands are controlled by limb-absent people. Researchers from Florida Atlantic University's College of Engineering and Computer Science, in collaboration with FAU's Charles E. Schmidt College of Science, investigated whether people could precisely control the grip forces applied to two different objects grasped simultaneously with a dexterous artificial hand. For the study, they also explored the role that visual feedback played in this complex multitasking model by systematically blocking visual and haptic feedback in the experimental design. In addition, they studied the potential for time saving in a simultaneous object transportation experiment compared to a one-at-a-time approach. To accomplish these tasks, they designed a novel multi-channel wearable soft robotic armband to convey artificial sensations of touch to the robotic hand users. 
Results, published in scientific reports, showed that multiple channels of haptic feedback enabled subjects to successfully grasp and transport two objects simultaneously with a dexterous artificial hand without breaking or dropping them, even when their vision of both objects was obstructed. First Robot Laparoscopic Surgery Without Help a robot has performed laparoscopic surgery on the soft tissue of a pig without the guiding hand of a human, a significant step in robotics toward fully automated surgery on humans. Designed by a team of Johns Hopkins University researchers, the Smart Tissue Autonomous Robot, or STAR, is described in Science Robotics. Our findings show that we can automate one of the most intricate and delicate tasks in surgery, the reconnection of two ends of an intestine. The STAR performed the procedure in four animals and it produced significantly better results than humans performing the same procedure, said senior author Axel Krieger, an assistant professor of mechanical engineering at Johns Hopkins Whitting School of Engineering. The robot excelled at intestinal anastomosis, a procedure that requires a high level of repetitive motion and precision. Connecting two ends of an intestine is arguably the most challenging step in gastrointestinal surgery, requiring a surgeon to suture with high accuracy and consistency. Even the slightest hand tremor or misplaced stitch can result in a leak that could have catastrophic complications for the patient. Working with collaborators at the Children's National Hospital in Washington, D.C., and Jin Kang, a Johns Hopkins professor of electrical and computer engineering, Krieger helped create the robot, a vision-guided system designed specifically to suture soft tissue. Their current iteration advances a 2016 model that repaired a pig's intestines accurately, but required a large incision to access the intestine and more guidance from humans. The team equipped the STAR with new features for enhanced autonomy and improved surgical precision, including specialized suturing tools and state-of-the-art imaging systems that provide more accurate visualizations of the surgical field. Drug Delivery with Light-Controlled Microswimmers Science fiction novelists couldn't have come up with a crazier plot. Micro-robots streaming through blood or through other fluids in our body which are driven by light can carry drugs to cancer cells and drop off the medication on the spot. What sounds like a far-fetched fantasy is, however, the short summary of a research project published in the journal Science Robotics. The microswimmers presented in the work bear the potential to one day perform tasks in living organisms or biological environments that are not easily accessible otherwise. Looking even further ahead, the swimmers could perhaps one day help treat cancer or other diseases. In their paper, Light-Driven Carbon Nitride Microswimmers with Propulsion in Biological and Ionic Media and Responsive On-Demand Drug Delivery, a team of scientists from the Max Planck Institute for Intelligent Systems and its neighboring institute, the Max Planck Institute for Solid State Research, demonstrate organic microparticles that can steer through biological fluids and dissolved blood in an unprecedented way. Even in very salty liquids, the microswimmers can be propelled forward at high speed by visible light, either individually or as a swarm. Additionally, they are partially biocompatible and can take up and release cargo on demand. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.